Extracting knowledge graphs from text with GPT-40. If you're into AI, machine learning, or just making sense of data, and let's face it, who isn't these days? You need to check out how GPT-40 can help you build knowledge graphs from unstructured text. This is a game changer for how we understand, visualize, and extract meaning from raw information. Why knowledge graphs matter? Imagine taking a wall of text, a Wikipedia article, a book chapter, a set of news articles, and transforming it into a visual map that connects concepts, people, organizations, and events. That's what knowledge graphs do. Think of them as mind maps on steroids. They provide a bird's eye view of how things are related, which is critical in everything from fraud detection and drug discovery to search engines and personalized learning. This video is from Tuvu. Remember how Google started giving us those neat info panels on the right-hand side of search results? That's powered by a massive knowledge graph. Instead of just matching keywords, Google connects concepts and relationships. And now, with tools like GPT-40 and Langchain, you can build similar graphs from your own data. Enter GPT-40, the engine behind the curtain. GPT-40 is the newest iteration of OpenAI's large language model, and it's a powerhouse when it comes to reading and reasoning over text. What used to take entire teams of data scientists and NLP engineers can now be done with a few lines of Python and a smart LLM. This isn't just academic research anymore, it's something you can implement in an afternoon. I recently watched a demo where the presenter used GPT-40 to turn the Wikipedia page on Game of Thrones into a fully interactive knowledge graph. Even though I've never watched the show, I know, I know, I could instantly see the major characters, alliances, rivalries, and even the timelines. That's the kind of insight knowledge graphs unlock. Traditional versus graph-based thinking. Traditional databases and spreadsheets organize information in rows and columns. That works fine for structured data but falls apart when you're dealing with complex relationships. Graphs, on the other hand, are networks of nodes, entities, and edges, relationships. They're more flexible and scalable for modeling real-world connections. Want to find the shortest connection between two seemingly unrelated concepts? Want to identify the most influential player in a social network? Graph theory has answers, and now you can apply those answers to unstructured text using GPT-40. Building a knowledge graph in Python. Here's where it gets really cool. Using Langchain's LLM graph transformer, you can pipe raw text into a GPT-40 powered workflow that identifies entities, extracts relationships, and formats them into a structured graph. Here's the basic flow. Prepare your text, grab a document, article, or any blob of text. Choose your LLM, in this case, GPT-40. Transform the text. Use Langchain to convert it into a graph with clearly labeled entities and relationships. Visualize. Use a tool like Pivus to render it as an interactive graph in HTML. Bonus. You can filter the output by entity types, e.g., people, places, organizations, or relationship types, e.g., works underscore it, born underscore in, awarded. Real use cases that matter. This isn't just for academic show and tell. Knowledge graphs are making waves across industries. Fraud detection, by analyzing transaction patterns, knowledge graphs can detect suspicious connections that would be missed by flat data structures. Drug discovery, in pharma, graphs map relationships between diseases, symptoms, genes, proteins, and drugs. Search and RAG, retrieval augmented generation, RAG, systems can use knowledge graphs to ground LLM responses in factual data, boosting accuracy. Learning and education, create interactive mind maps of topics like Python or machine learning. I've done this myself, and students love it. Prompt engineering versus structured output. When building your graph, you have two main options. Prompt-based, craft a detailed prompt asking the model to extract entities and relationships in a specific format. Structured output, use GPT-40's built-in support for structured output to ensure consistency and avoid parsing errors. 
Structured output is more reliable, especially when working at scale or building production applications. Streamlit for interactivity. Want to take it up a notch? Wrap everything in a Streamlit app. With a few lines of Python, you can allow users to upload a file or paste in text, click a button, and see their knowledge graph rendered in a browser. It's simple, effective, and very shareable. SEO insights and applications. Now let's talk SEO, because if you're reading franksworld.com, chances are you care about making content findable. Knowledge graphs are a perfect fit for content strategy, identify key themes, related entities, and missing content gaps. Semantic search, power smarter search engines are internal knowledge bases. Structured data, improve how search engines index your site with schema-enhanced metadata. By connecting your content with a graph, you're building a semantic backbone that enhances discoverability and engagement. Final thoughts. The ability to turn unstructured text into structured, meaningful graphs is no longer reserved for tech giants or PhDs. With tools like GPT-40, Langchain, and Pivus, anyone can create interactive knowledge graphs from everyday content. Whether you're building smarter search, uncovering insights in your data, or just trying to learn something new more effectively, knowledge graphs are a powerful ally. And with GPT-40, the barrier to entry has never been lower. So go ahead, fire up versus code, spin up a streamlit app, and start transforming text into insight. And if you build something cool, drop me a line, I'd love to see it. Until next time, stay curious. Frank.